What's up guys, my name is Taylor Dilk and today I'm talking all about my morning routine. start my day off with a morning routine I feel super frazzled and chaotic and I feel like my day hasn't started as productive as I should have been so it's very very important to me to share with you guys exactly how I start my day and hopefully this helps you guys to learn that morning routines are so important for your brain your body just starting your day off successfully so my typical morning routine starts off around 6 a.m. almost every single day. We're about three weeks into our six week Elevate You series. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically six daily tasks. It's like sleeping six to eight hours, stretching before bed, having your morning routine. It's all these little tasks every single day that add up. And just three weeks in, I've noticed a huge improvement in my mental clarity, my anxiety. I feel so much calmer. I'm able to not spend so much time during the day doing useless things like scrolling on Instagram, watching TV. I'm really utilizing my time efficiently. All these little things that you're going to be doing for your morning routine, it may be really hard at first, but over time they'll add up and they'll make a huge difference in your life. I like to get in a workout first thing in the morning, but before that, I absolutely need my quiet time. I feel like the most important thing for me in terms of my morning routine is to have at least 10 minutes quiet time with my coffee. I absolutely need to have it. Even if I'm traveling, if I don't eat and have coffee first thing in the morning, I'm a different human. <laughs> The reason why I have to have at least a little bit of quiet time before my day is because right now my life is literally insane and if I don't center myself with my own thoughts without any social media or electronics, I feel so chaotic in the brain. So what's really important to me first thing is to have that quiet time. I do have a very strict rule with myself that I created about, I don't know, five or so months ago to absolutely do not look at social media until about one to two hours after I'm awake, after my full morning routine, after I've worked out, no one around, just me, just the books, the Bible, no social media, not looking at my phone, coffee, reading, journaling, Bible. And then also with me, I feel like there's so many voices coming at me all at once, so I have to have my voice in my head the first thing in the morning without anyone else around. I've always tried to have a morning routine. I think I started it in college. Uh, before class, I would be sure to wake up at least an hour before I had to leave. That way I can get my breakfast in, my coffee in. At the time, I looked at Pinterest. Something that really helped me start to wake up early I think I started waking up super early, like around 5 or 6 a.m. about a year ago. And I used to literally hate waking up in the mornings. I would wake up at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. and then start my day. So this whole waking up early thing is super, super new to me, but it's literally changed my life and now Steve is doing it too. So something that really helps me or has helped me get into a good groove is to schedule a workout class super early in the morning. That way you have to wake up at a certain time because you're like, I gotta get my breakfast in, I gotta get ready, I gotta go. So that really, really helps. Or if you're not into working out early, maybe try setting a meeting up or an appointment up with your significant other or your friend, whether that be going to get coffee or going on a walk, going hiking, whatever the case may be. Having an accountability partner is super helpful to just get up and moving because if you don't make it, they're gonna throw some shade. Hopefully watching my morning routine has inspired you guys to create one or get back into a routine yourself. Some people aren't morning routine people. They stay up late, they're more productive in the nighttime. So if you're not one of those people, completely fine. But if you wanna at least try it, please comment down below. Let me know how it has helped change your life because it's seriously something that I feel like I can't live without now. So. Anyways, please be sure to like this video, subscribe down below for more content. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. What is going on? <laughs> okay, wait, I'm going to do it one more time.